In one of my previous videos, I demonstrated how to configure a monorepo that has a shareable UI component library. I had some questions asked about the various ways to export components from a Vue.js library and how to publish the library to a package registry like npm. I think the best way to answer these questions is to a short video, so let's get started. I'm taking the monorepo setup I created in my other video. Click right here to check out that other video. Also check the video description for the GitHub repository containing all the code. There are a couple of ways to import a component library into your project. One is importing the whole library and this way all the components of the library will be globally registered in your Vue.js app. So you can use them anywhere without importing each individual component. However, with this approach, all the components will be bundled with your application code. So depending on whether you use all the components or not, this might not be such a good idea. Another way is to take advantage of tree shaking by importing individual components. This way, only the components used by the app are bundled in the final build. Basically, this eliminates dead or unused code from your bundle, reducing its size and improving the performance. In the monorepo, I have this basic Vue.js component library that is styled using Tailwind CSS. Let's go over the code. The main.ts file is the entry point for this library. As you can see, I export each individual component However, I also added a default export that is a Vue.js plugin, which is effectively a function that takes in a Vue app as a parameter, and this plugin registers the two components globally. You can use this plugin with the Vue.use syntax. The components themselves are nothing special, just a button and an input. Let's take a look at the package.json file. This first field right here is the name of the library, and it is scoped under my GitHub namespace. And this is important since I will publish the library to my private GitHub package registry. The module field is the entry point of our library for ES modules. The files property contains an array of directories to include and only these files will be included in the final build. The publish config is important since we are not going to publish to the default npm registry but to a private github registry. And here I am telling npm that the registry containing this scope is at this address. Some dependencies should not be bundled with the library and for a good reason. We don't want every library to contain the Vue.js source code for example. Any project that will install this library will have Vue as a dependency. So I defined it here as a peer dependency. Now npm will warn you that you need to have Vue installed whenever you install this library. It will even warn you if the version you have in your project is not supported by the library. In this case if you have Vue.js version 2 it will warn you that the library requires version 3 and above. The bundled dependencies however are dependencies that will be bundled with your library and in this case I'm telling npm that the Tailwind config package is bundled and should not go look for it in the registry. Finally, let's take a look at the vid config. A couple of settings are of interest here. First, we build this library in ES module format, which is necessary for tree shaking to work. And secondly, I set Vue.js as external, so it won't be included in the final build. Another question I got on my previous videos was how to publish the components library to npm. So what I'm going to do is to configure the library to build and publish the private package registry from GitHub. And I'm not going to do that from my local machine like a savage. I'm going to do this using GitHub Actions all in the cloud. I've created this GitHub action that handles the building and publishing of the library. Let's check it out. This action will be triggered either manually or when creating a release in GitHub. It consists of two jobs, build and publish. The build job runs in a Ubuntu container, checks out this repository, sets up the version of Node.js. Since this is a monorepo that uses pnpm workspaces, I also need to configure pnpm. Then I run a couple of commands. First is to install everything. And the second one is to build a library. And lastly, I save the this folder as an artifact so that I can use it in other jobs. The publish job depends on the build job, so it won't start unless the build was completed successfully. And it is set up much in the same way, except for this registry URL, which is pretty important to make sure that you publish to the GitHub registry and not to the default npm registry. I then download the artifacts from the previous job and then run pnpm publish from the packages slash UI lib folder and make sure I have the node auth token environment variable set to the token GitHub provides as a secret for your action. And that's it. Let's now publish this library. Let me go to my GitHub repo and trigger this action. As you can see, it builds the library and publishes it.
Now you can see the library in the releases section as well as in my private registry. Ok, let's see if it works. Let me install it in a separate project and see what we get. Let's see what it installed. Here is the library. As you can see, the button and the input both have the CSS classes applied as well as the Vue.js plugin function. Everything seems to be here. Now let's try to import one of these components and you can see I get IntelliSense and TypeScript types. Everything seems to work fine. Awesome, and there you have it. I've successfully built the Vue.js library using Vit and published it to my private registry using GitHub Actions. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and have a great day.